So um, we have a concept in working with challenging students. Every martial arts instructor has those students that are kind of hard to like, right? Well, uh, we have what we call rules of three for dealing with challenged students. And rule number one is build rapport. Rule number two is give them clear expectations and feedback. And rule number three is catch them doing things right. But I want to share the story about where they came from. I had this student, his name was Ryan. And Ryan was kind of a hard kid to like. He started training with me. He's about eight years old. He trained until he's about 11. And his, uh, he was being raised by his mother. His father was in prison. He was raised by his grandmother, excuse me. His father was in prison. And I don't know about his mother, where, he was, where she was. But, uh, man, this kid, it wasn't like he was a lot of trouble. He just kind of, man, kind of rubbed everybody the wrong way. And I found myself often doing this with Ryan. He'd come into school and I'd kind of give him the finger like, man, you better not mess up, etc., etc. Well, as he starts getting a little older, uh, he starts getting really inconsistent in his training. And um, finally, one day, his grandmother calls me and says, hey, Ryan's getting in some trouble at school. Could you talk to him? And I thought, yeah, I'll talk to him. And so, but what I do is I, I bring him in the office and I give him the lecture, like you better, blah, 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 blah. And at the time it felt good because he, like I said, he was kind of a hard kid to like. Well, so Ryan, I don't, of course it didn't help, right? Uh, Ryan was less and less consistent in class. And one day he ended up, uh, he was on my list. I was supposed to call him to see where he was. And I called him, I left a message. He never got back to me. He showed up on my list a couple weeks later and I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna call him. I don't, you know, I'm, he, I'm fine if he quits. I don't really like working with this kid. Fast forward, about four years later, I'm driving down the street. It's about two in the afternoon on a school day. I'm driving down the street towards my house and I see four teenagers and their backs are turned to me. They're going to sit, walking the same way I'm walking and they're all, they're all smoking, all four of them are smoking. They're passing, they have a, a, a paper bag, they're passing a bottle back and forth. So they're clearly, like I said, it's in the middle of a school day, Wednesday afternoon, they're clearly up to no good, right? Or, directing that way and, and so I remember pa I shouldn't but I'm passing judgment on these guys I'm gonna look at those kids man yada you know I'm thinking about it. I drive through the light I look in the rearview mirror and guess who I see I see Ryan and it like it it, it was like a knife man I to this day I get kind of goosebumps when I think about it because I know without a doubt if I would have done my job with Ryan and really believed in him right that he would not have been walking down that street in the middle of the afternoon on, on a Wednesday smoking and drinking when he was 14, 15 years old. And I never forgot that. And, and to me, go back to the rules of three that I started, is it like, man, first off, with a kid like that, because we all have them, you know, we all know people like that. Build rapport means really try to like them. And how do you do that? You identify with their situation. Life is hard for this kid, right? And, and you've got to wait to, to, to if, I think a student should respect us, but I think they also need to like us, okay? Uh, because they're gonna, they're gonna try harder for us. So that's step number one. Step number two is give them clear expectations and feedback. And the concept is what I would do is, I, would, uh, you know, I, would, I wouldn't be clear on what I expected of them. I'd just give them the finger, right? Well, so that is, is, is to walk up before class, like it says, hey, you know, build rapport and say, hey, Ryan, man, you know, this is what I want to see out of you today, buddy, you know, ask him about how school was and sincerely try to like him so I can connect and then tell him what I expect and that either he does it or he doesn't do it. Let's say if I ask him to stand straight for 15 seconds, if he does it, I got to be there to say good job. The worst thing that can happen is he stands straight for an hour, uh, you know, a, a minute and I wasn't there to say good job and then he screws up and then I'm on him, okay? So he either does it or he doesn't do it. And then step number three is catch him doing things right. With Ryan, I, he'd walk into class and I would be thinking, man, if he messes up, I'm going to be all over this kid. I'm going to be looking like crazy. And, and so I've used this, uh, and of course I'd always find him messing up, so I've used this strategy going forward with other kids and it's amazing the transformation. You know, when you change your, the way you interact with that person, they change as well. And, and there's a great quote when you're working with that challenging kid, it goes like this, do not, look, do not fear moving forward slowly, only fear standing still. So if you have that challenging kid, that person that's hard to work with, all you're looking for is direction for them to get better. So have a good day.